I'm gonna show you how to roast pumpkin, how to toast pumpkin seeds, and how to make a brown butter graham crust so that we're kind of heightening the level of the pumpkin pie. First thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take pie pumpkins. And what you wanna do is you wanna cut it into quarters because you kinda wanna create a little boat that's gonna hold your roasting liquid. And I'm gonna scrape the meat out, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the seeds and I'm gonna put them in a little bit of warm water with a little bit of salt. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna sort of clean the seeds and get the flesh away from the seeds. And with all the rest of the flesh that I can't get out, I'm gonna scrape it out with a spoon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the milk stout and I'm gonna take the um, maple sugar. I'm going to take cinnamon, star anise, clove, black pepper, nutmeg, and fresh ginger, and I'm gonna add it to a pan with butter, and I'm gonna cook all these ingredients down to um, get this sort of aromatic liquid. Once that's cooking down, I'm gonna take the pumpkins and I'm gonna brush them with a little bit of cinnamon sugar. I'm going to take these pumpkins and I'm going to brush them very, very generously with this roasting liquid. Toasted pumpkin seeds are delicious, so it's really important to not throw them away. When, once they've been sitting in the salted water, I strain them out, I drain them, and still when they're just a little wet, I put them back in the pot, sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt, just a little bit of cane sugar, toss them, put them in a pan, and put them in the oven so I can toast them. 350 degrees. For graham cracker crust, what you wanna do is you wanna take graham cracker crumbs and dark brown sugar, mix them together, and then instead of taking just melted butter, you wanna take this to a different level. You wanna brown the butter. And what that means is that you are browning the, the milk solid in the butter. And so what's happening right now is that you can actually hear the butter cooking. You can hear it. When the butter starts to brown, that, that sound is gonna go away, which is happening right now. See how it gets quiet? You wanna start mixing it so you can get all of those solids at the bottom because that's your flavor. And you can actually see the brown coming up to the surface as I stir it. Once it's brown, and be very careful because it is hot, you're gonna pour it very slowly in stages into your mixture to bring it together. And I suggest using a spoon first so you don't burn your hands. Once it's all in, you can kind of start using your hands. After the pumpkin was done roasting, I took the flesh of the pumpkin and I pureed it in a food processor. If you don't have a recipe for pumpkin pie, just take the recipe off the back of a can and it works just fine with the fresh pumpkin. I took fresh cream and I whipped it and then I added just a little bit of the roasting liquid to the whipped cream. After you've put your seasoned whipped cream on top of the pie, I like to sprinkle it with the toasted pumpkin seeds. And that's how you make everybody envious of your pumpkin pie.